what's going on guys so next day or new day new video i guess i should say uh i've been out in the garage for a while kind of working away uh where i ended the last video i had the one kind of side pipe tacked together and uh i did the other one i just tacked them together i'm almost at a welding gas and it's sunday so that's where i'm at there so i don't want to waste it all but yeah they're both on looks cool kind of had about the same measurements on them so as long as you only look at one side at a time you won't notice they're different uh i think what i'm gonna do today is start tackling the back here so that's why i didn't want to use all my welding gas on the on the headers you have to chop some of this out and make a new kind of panel there uh for the bottom still actually not in bad shape up here just this bottom piece but i just go across and bend her down and it's got some lip and all that uh this like i said before at some point was just zip cut right out this tail panel so i think i'll just continue doing that and get it out on both sides and uh probably just start making another one i guess it's just going to kind of wrap around and go in and it looks like it's folded in there a little bit so i might do the same thing so i'm gonna do that then i can fight out i don't know if i want to louver it or not i'm kind of fighting that that uh between the plate and the lights and the uh lights i should say once they're on there there should be like six louvers in there so it seems like kind of a waste of time so I might just build a little panel of some sheet metal then I can set the deck lid on and kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like and then decide from there what I want to do exactly so that's the plan today we'll see how far I make it oh the other thing about a winch so I'm always again like my problem is thumbnails the garage is so cluttered small whatever you want to call it it's hard to get good pictures and I wish I could push the things outside most of my stuff doesn't even run and uh, lucky if it rolls so i'm thinking i can anchor this winch to the ground it's a three thousand pound winch and i got a little snatch block there but i mean three thousand pound winch on something that has wheels and actually rolls shouldn't be too bad it'll make unloading cars easier it'll make uh life a lot better so it's just a atv one so i can hook it up to like a a battery booster pack or something like that and run it in and out so let me know what you think about that but yeah, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna anchor it. I'm thinking I wanna do something on the ground, but I don't want it permanent. So I'll have to have it uh, almost like what I have for my stand, anchor down some sort of a receiver hitch that I can just take it in and out and do something. But uh, eh, that'll be a project at some point. But yeah, I'll get started. All right, well, so I zipped the ends out and I cut off the bottom kind of rusty part. There was a piece I can kind of use as a bit of a template. So it's, uh, I mean, it's very, very simple. It's just uh, an angle there. And this piece is actually the original skin. It just kind of folds over. So I don't know if I'll go that crazy, but basically just need something out and down and I have the measurements <clears throat> and then I can uh, knock the panel around it when I'm done. And I might zip in there and just get that stuff all out and then I'll fold it myself. So that'll be kind of what I'm doing there. In the meantime, I've actually screwed around with some kind of paint and stuff on the uh, body worked. Oh, well, metal worked, I guess. Welded. So at the bottom of the door and put on the cowl. I don't know. Basically, all I did is I sprayed a bunch of miscellaneous browns, blacks, and some primer on there. And while it was still wet, I hosed it down with some uh, brake cleaner and it just kind of bleh. So, it looks shitty, but so is the whole car. I don't know. We'll see. I just kind of hit this with some black and all that. Once it sits outside, it'll all start to kind of rust and kind of come through. I feel like if I'm going to start starting on it, I'm committed to the whole thing. But uh, we'll do this for now. See how much I hate it. What do you guys think? So leave a comment below if I should try and actually paint it or just kind of leave it as is, right? But uh, I'll get more work done on this, get a panel cut out, and we'll see, uh, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, a little update. So I uh, cleaned up around here. I uh, kind of made a new panel just in there. Uh, this little brace, whatever it is, I welded it on so it's nice and strong. I cleaned up the edges and on the inside. So I'm thinking when I put the panel on, I'll end up welding it up on the edge here. I'm gonna roll the top over 
and then I can give it a few buzzes in the center as well so it won't be too pop around stuff. Uh, I made this little panel across just so it'll kind of bend out so the panel can rest on it and then I might build something at the bottom for it to roll over. I'm not too sure how crazy I want to go. But otherwise, that's kind of how it's working. It's so flat almost. I think I'm just going to kind of put it where I want it, uh, give it a few tacks, roll this edge over, and like with the hammer, just like I did with the door skins. And then the deck lid, it's actually going to sail down and it's going to sit over top of it. So you're not really going to see that edge too much. It doesn't have to be super, super pretty. So yeah, I guess what I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning up in here just so it looks nice a little bit of grinding And then I'll measure it cut this piece out. I should be able to start buzzing it all together Uh, well, so I got the panel kind of in, definitely needs a bit more of a roll, but whatever, I guess. This one quarter, that little belt line is kind of sticking out and the metal's all rotted down there, so I got to push that back in and weld it up somehow. Uh, the little inside brace, it's got a funny curve to it. I assumed it would have been kind of for support, but if you do that, it puts a big kink in the center. So I'm going to have to knock that out. But with the deck lid on and all that, it looks fine. And again, once you get, uh, I mean, a couple of tail lights and then a license plate right in the center, I don't think I'm going to have to luber too much of it. Worst case, it wasn't a hard panel to make because it's just a flat piece of sheet metal. And like I said, the, uh, the deck lid's not fitting right because it still has a bit of a gap or whatever, but it's going to go over and I can trim this to fit. But, it's got the overall kind of look. I have to go inside, I'm going to do a little googling and see what this panel kind of looks like. Because, uh, I don't know, what I had in my head is not where I'm at right now. So, I'll take a little break, get something to eat, and see what we can do about that. Maybe I'll be back a little later, we'll see how it goes. Uh, well, before I went in, I just want to see what this is going to look like. So, so much of it's covered, I just had a junk plate and these kind of tail edge so I just took the lenses off you're hardly gonna see much of this panel just this little section right there and you know, ultimately if I move the license plate up or do whatever uh, yeah I'm not too worried about it I think it looks just fine so I'm gonna go and do a little bit of googling inside I gotta flatten out this uh, tailgate or uh, trunk lid it's got some curve in it so I need to put some sort of bracing and stuff in it and make it actually hinge properly and figure out how I want to mount it down but actually, yeah, this makes me feel a lot better. I think I'm kind of overthinking it, and ultimately, yeah, there's a few dents and wrinkles in it. It probably just suits the rest of the car, right? Yeah, it actually turned out pretty good up there, the little kind of crappy blend job of the, of the chop compared to that. I don't know. It's coming together. So I'm going to take a little break, see if I feel rejuvenated, and come back out and uh, start hammering some more stuff out. Well, uh, I thought about it, and the conclusion I came to is... I'm at the front of the car trying to blend in old shitty paint, make it look all beat, and I'm overthinking a piece of flat metal with a little bend in it. I'm just going to burn it in and be done with it, and then uh, trim the tailgate to fit, or the deck lid to fit, and hose it down with some miscellaneous colors and see what happens. Worst case, if I hate it, I'll cut it out, I'll grind it down. So, yeah, let me know what you think in the comment, I guess, of that one, but that's what's happening. So I'm going to get to it, finish burning that in, I don't have much welding gas left. Hopefully I can get through that, and then tomorrow, I got two tanks, of course the tank I got as a spare that I didn't fill is empty. So I'll fill them both up tomorrow, and then kind of carry on, but uh, a lot of the heavy welding is, is getting to be done anyways. So I'll set the uh, tripod up, we'll burn this sucker together and 
see what happens. I still got a little repair to do in the corners. Both of them are kind of rotted. I don't know uh, how crazy I should go there. There's actually a little hole right there for some reason, but yeah. we'll get moving. Okay, panel's on, kind of ground down. I got me another pass of it. I was just kind of attacking it, kind of junky, and it was kind of popping and banging, and I just I still want to do a little bit more welding, so I'm kind of half-assing with the welding gas. Uh, a few little wrinkles I got to knock out yet, and I got to do the whole top and the bottom more proper, and then, again, the brace in the center. Get it kind of welded up. Next thing I'm going to do, so this is the old deck lid, I guess, whatever it had for a little... Must have had some pins or something that fit on it. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is just weld some washers on the skin. And then uh, just weld some 3 8 bolts or something like that to it. And then just put some nuts and, you know, jam nut them on there. Yeah, actually I'll probably just do one, have it slide on. The other one can be a, a bolt or do something like that to hold it from flopping around. And then I can take the deck lid on and off if you have to, but it shouldn't be too big of a deal. And then once I get it on, then I still have to do a little bit more stretching, shrinking on the sides to make it fit a little more proper, and then uh, trim it to fit back here. So that's what I want to get on uh, get on to next. Anyways, I hate that thing just sitting around because I feel like I'm going to step on it or drop it or do whatever. So I'd like to have it on the car, and then uh, yeah, at least when I drop something on it, it'll be on the car. Okay, so I got the deck lid on. Uh, it's fitting not bad. I got to do a little bit more stretch or shrinker, I think, just to kind of get the curve. A little bit better. I got it fitting pretty close at the bottom. I don't know what I'm going to do. I got to do some sort of structure so it's got more strength back there. And then figure out a way to hold it down. So that's stuff to Google, I guess. Uh, the other thing is it's... The whole car is kind of twisted a little bit. So the, the deck lid is square. But the car is not. But... So on this side you can see... Hopefully you can see it's pretty dark. I used a little the washer on the pin and then this side uh, I put a little bolt in it so you pull the bolt out then the uh, deck will come out and then the bolt actually jams up against the body so I can tighten it and it shouldn't come loose but it also won't put any pressure on the washer so I'll take it all apart and re-weld it properly but I'm pretty happy with this I mean I don't know I could use it a little bit more love but ultimately it's uh, I don't want to be too nice right uh, ran out of welding gas so I'm done for the night. Uh, tomorrow I'll go fill up. And then I'd like to finish these corner pieces. Just here and on the other side. Re-weld in there so it looks nice. And then, I mean, I got to figure out little trim pieces and all that stuff for around the bottom. Because this is just a sharp edge. So I'd like to roll it or do something. I was actually thinking what I might do for the bottom here and the bottom there is uh, basically the same as the doors. Where, you know, it kind of wraps around like a door skin. So if I just have a, a flat piece, you know, I'll try the bead roller or something, fold it, put it up in there, and then just kind of weld it on. It'll give it a lot more strength, and it'll look the same. Eh, we'll see. Otherwise, the doors and all that have dried. So that's what they look like now. All my brand new fancy metal work. Looks all junky and shitty, but the door's not quite how I want it. It still has a little bit too much... These would be a little bit darker. The cowl came out pretty decent though. And around all the doors. I mean, I don't know. Looks good enough. I could, now that i kind of done this, I could uh, bodywork it with a little bit of filler. Make it look a little bit more pretty. But for now that's done. Worst case, it's uh, grind it, fill it, 
and make it look shitty again because I don't know if I want to go flat black or or what I really like the kind of patina type look but there's so much metal work needed uh obviously I couldn't kind of keep it the deck let him fight now because I really like the way it looks but I know it's gonna go rusty and all that so I might just leave it as is and see what happens to it or try some people with vinegar and all sorts of stuff to it but uh, that's it tonight uh appreciate you watching we're getting lots of views lots of subscribers lately so if you're new one i really appreciate it if you're not and you're watching subscribe to the channel do me a favor and i'll see you guys tomorrow and we'll uh keep working on this old hot rod